Good morning. I'm Larry Kirkpatrick, and I'd like to share a brief devotional thought with you from Psalm 131. Let's take a look at it. I'll read it to you. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty, neither do I concern myself with great matters, nor with things too profound for me. Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul, like a weaned child with his mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. Now, a superficial reading of this, you might think, well, this is kind of like, oh, don't think about anything that's big stuff. Just leave that to the experts. That's not what this is about. What this is about is, is um, letting God be God. You don't have to solve the physics of the world. You don't have to solve all the things that are right and wrong in the world or have a complete understanding of everything that comes by. We don't have to have that. Verse 1, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty, neither do I concern myself with great matters, nor with things too profound for me. What this is saying is, Lord, I'm going to trust you to take care of the big stuff. I'm going to trust you. You know what's right and wrong, and I'm going to look to your directives and your analyses. That's what I need for my life. Uh, Then we have uh, verse 2 about calming, being like a weaned child with his mother. You know, a weaned weaned child has been with his mother. They've been together through an intense time of bonding. But the child is maturing bit by bit. And that needs to be the way that we are with, with God. Growing, maturing. But we've already been with him and we've got some, some connection built up there, some relationship. We know we can trust him because of how he's dealt with us already. Verse 3 said, O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. So let's not forget, God's in control, and we can take that with us into all that we face in the day just ahead. Let's have a word of prayer together. Dear Father in heaven, you are a good God. Thank you that we can learn to trust in you. There's not much left in this world we can trust in, but we can sure trust in you and we can trust in your word. Lord, watch over us. And help us not to get into things uh, too big for us. Help us to trust in you for the big things. And it doesn't mean we can't find out. We want to find out more. You want us to exercise the brains that you've given us. But, Lord, we're going to learn to trust you as we do that and not trust in our own heads. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord be with you today in all that you do. Make sure that your life is different from some of the other lives out there because you've been with Jesus.